Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. On your computer, you have this virtual place called the clipboard, where you can cut, copy, and paste. Probably know about those features. They're everywhere. Unless, of course, you have an iPhone, in which case you don't yet have cut, copy, and paste. So what if you're sitting there on your computer running either Mac OS X or Windows, let's say, and you want to get a piece of text from your desktop to your iPhone? It's not as easy as you might think. But if you're using a free app called Clip to Mobile, you can do it. It's got a desktop app and, then of course, an iPhone app, and they stay in sync through a free account. It's a free application as well. So here I can add a note on my desktop, I can add a contact on my desktop, or I can make a call, and what that is, I enter in a phone number, press a button, it's then passed to Clip to Mobile, the, uh, the, uh, the account that I've got synchronized with the software here on my iPhone, and I can press that button, and it'll say, hey, you got a phone number, is this what you want to dial? I'm like, yeah, click. So imagine that, you're on your desktop, someone sends you a phone number, you don't want to like look at it and go type, 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 possibly make a typo and then dial the wrong number. You can just enter it in to make a call, it's passed to your account, and you press a button, you're done. That's, that's as easy as it gets. Now this app is free, at least on the desktop, it's ad supported, they don't have any ads running in it right now, but I haven't seen another clipboard type of app like this in the app store, at least uh, for free. Uh, they also have some icons at the bottom that indicate that uh, support for events is coming up, as, so a calendar, as well as images. So to be able to synchronize all those things between the desktop and your mobile device, it's pretty simple. It's an Air app, uh, you know, running on the Adobe Air platform, so the app will either run on uh, Windows or Mac OS X. Um, the thing, though, that is a kind of a, a small caveat, um, it's free, so I can't complain about that. However, their user experience, their UI, uh, at least on the desktop, is really bad. Like the, the iPhone UI, it's a little unpolished. It's not as clean as it could be, but for a version one, it's, it's not horrible, I, I wouldn't say. I mean, it's functional, it definitely works, but it just needs, needs a bit more polish. I think, uh, you know, if they intend on this service to take off, especially the desktop app. The desktop app is nasty. That's the thing that would probably keep me doing uh, or keeping this running all the time is the fact that that is just the one of the worst looking desktop apps I've seen in a long time. And I've seen a lot of bad desktop apps. So it's free, can't complain too loudly. Maybe you know of another clipboard-like application that's available in the App Store. Let me know. My email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you know of a website that does it. It doesn't even need to install an app, but you can do the virtual clipboarding you know, easily from the desktop directly to a mobile device. Uh, let me know, seriously. And you're welcome to stop by our community that's uh, teeming with geeks and teams of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Feel free to join the conversations there. And then if you want to join us in the chat room right here, like, well, this is where you would show up because I have the chat room integrated right here with the live video feed that's always streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking tech, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.